Always something unique going down at Hype. This week we had a pop up for Girls Love Artists. Cousin Jay, Salim, and all his people rolled through. We had a great time. Tomorrow we were having our first pop up ever for the brand, and I'm so excited. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We got behind the hype for you guys today. A little behind the scenes of what goes on here at Hype. We give away shoes every week, so this week we're giving away the Panda Dunk Highs. Wait till the end of the video to see how you can win them for free. Welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to Hype. First couple weeks here. Actually, real fun, man. A lot of foot traffic. I've seen a few celebrities. Sharif O'Neal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had Sharif coming here the other uh, day. He kind of normal here. Heard yeah. he was moving here, supposedly, for work. But yeah, man, it's Brickle, bro. So a lot happens here. You never know who you're going to see. But other than that, we've been working. Got a couple of new things here. Like you said, Keyshawn's new here. So a lot of things are new for you, bro. Yeah, which I, they, they've made it a real, a real easy transition. The work's super easy, man. Even helping out with the shoes, getting some shoes in. Like we just got some uh, yeah, olive fours. No got a couple crabs. pickups this week. Be real popular right now. I've been seeing them on a lot of people's feet. So we just got them in the store. Yeah, they sat for a little minute though. But yeah. at the same time, they eventually sold out, of course. We going into that era where pairs are kind of sitting right now. But for the most part, these are very good to have in the store. Got some of those. Yeah, overall, it's a clean shoe, bro. Pri clean shoe. Price point should be pretty decent for us here. I think, what, 250? Yeah, between like that price. These are we got A6. We've been showing y'all these for a minute. We've been getting damn near every color. The GT2160, I'm not sure what this colorway is called. I know how I felt about these at first. Yeah, the oatmeal simply tote or something like that. Yeah. Those are cool. Exactly. More, for the, more for the ladies, for sure. Yeah. Those be flying off the shelves as of right now. A lot of people request those. So. Yeah, we got a few pieces in, some new chromes that you just picked up. Uh, yeah. Some Obviously, y'all know we got the Hellstar Capsule 10 stuff. Yep. And some kiss tees, too. We yeah, a bunch of, of bunch kiss, of kiss bunch of kiss, bunch of new kiss. Y'all already know this, but we getting new denim tears. That's a lot of a lot of stuff flying off the shelves. Yeah, a lot you of walk stuff. outside, see so at least three people wearing denim tears right now. Yeah, it's 85 nice. degrees. They got a whole sweatsuit on. Yeah, y'all come pick up some new stuff, man. We're happy to have Keyshawn as part of the team. He's been super great so far. Stop by the store and say what's up to him. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? All right, we got a few boxes right here, guys. I think I know what this is. A little bit of diversity in here, so I'm actually excited to see what's inside. Got a bunch of different stuff. I think I know a few pairs in here. First pair I'm super excited for. Oh, is this? No, it's not what I thought it was, but this is a SB, as you can see, size 15. We get a lot of size 15s, and people ask for them all the time. This is a heater, born and raised SB in a size 15. Like I said, you know, our options are pretty limited when it comes to anything above a 14. When people come and want to spend, you know, we got to have stuff like this, which is awesome. I'm glad we picked this up. I believe there's another heater size 15 somewhere around here in this box. That's the board and raised. Very good selling shoe in the store and a beautiful release. Oh, this is the other size 15. Yeah. No yeah, way. He found his, he found his twin, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> He's like, wait, that's me. Talk to him, Matt. Photon dust. Bro, these look just like the gray fog. These right here, actually. Can you see, can you tell? You could definitely tell. Right? Okay, tell. the shoestrings. Uh, but if you'd had to pick one, like what would you guys choose and why? Uh, that one, I don't like how like contrast this is with the white. This okay. is like a le less contrast. What about you guys? I don't know, to be honest. The lighter one? The lighter one? That's I awesome. Lie, to be honest, I think I'll go with this one. Really? I, I like the darker I like, ones. I like the darker ones. These are like for the girls, these are for the guys. The women, it's literally, women, this is women's size. Women's too. release, men's release, so that's why. A cheaper dunk that we sold out of, restock. What else we got? Any two tones go really well in the store. For sure. I just ordered UNC dunks and Michigan really? dunks, because dude, those used to go for like 300, 350, no and now way. they're like less than 200. Wow. Like, because they restock overseas. I did not know that. There's been an influx of older dunks that used to go for crazy amounts of money that are literally under 200. It's the Midnight Navy. Another simple but popular colorway. And this is what we we talked about. We talked about during our, our meeting. Yeah. If you guys don't know, Matt's the manager of the store now. We never really did a proper update on YouTube. Some things moved around, let's just say that, but <laughs> Matt is currently the manager. Oh, hi, Miami is full time here. You guys saw him on the channel when he first started. Bro. Literally, his first day was May something. May 15th. It May. was Yuri's birthday. It was Yuri's birthday. Mm -hmm. Now he's the store manager. He's moving up. I got reminded of that because we had a little meeting and he was like, we need these. People are asking for him. So, Ice Blue Lows, classic two tone colorway, woman's color. These are one of the shoes that TikTok, honestly, I think makes like really popular. So, shout out to TikTok, bro. Shout out TikTok, man. Shout out TikTok. Um, yeah, I think everything else is duplicates. Yeah. But this brings me into our next segue. We got a bunch of these big sizes now. Good thing we could do with these is reach out to some of our size 15 customers. It's not a lot, so we could text them and be like, hey, got some heat in your size. Actually got a new system that I wanna show you guys. Like most sales positions, Hype employees earn commission on their in-store sales. We wanted to provide an additional opportunity to make more commission by reaching out to returning customers. You guys all huddle in. All right, we wanna be reaching out to our high value customers and then also our customers that are that buy specific stuff from the store, whether that's by brand, by size, by spending amount, all that shit. 
If you guys want to pull out your phones, actually, because I feel like you'll be doing it the most on your phones. You can't do it on the computer just because you're going to be able to text people. I think text is the most personal way to reach out to a returning customer, in my opinion. Some customers don't add their phone number. I would suggest when people are coming here, they usually ask, like, what do I put? I would suggest them to put their, you know, name, email, phone number. Some people don't want to, which is fine. Like, you can let them do whatever. But I would, like, recommend you suggest them to put their phone number so we can do stuff like this. What I would start with right now, like I said, if you have some downtime today or tomorrow, whatever it is, going through our most spent customers. So literally just filter it by yeah, amount spent high to low. So you could literally see who spent the most money from high to low. I would literally go down the line and reach out to each and every one of them. Introduce yourself. You already sent a little like step by step, but it's pretty simple. Just introduce yourself. Say you're, you're, you're texting them from hype. We appreciate them shopping. And if they ever need anything specific, hit them up. You can also let them know about new stuff we get in, et cetera, et cetera. But it's literally so easy. It's two clicks. You pick a customer, hit message, and it'll literally take you to your messenger and you could text them. I was going to uh, say, there's some customers that only have the email. Yeah. So I mean, those are kind of hard to avoid. If you want to send an email, I would, you can you just have to make it a little more formal i would say with the email you could do that from the customer service email that's probably the easiest so you guys don't step on each other's toes the best way to track it would be draft order that way when you guys are looking at the draft orders you could see okay d just reached out to this guy Matt just reached out to this guy i'm gonna go reach out to this guy you guys are almost like reps for these people like okay this is my guy when i get there and that way you build a personal relationship and they want to spend money with you so that you not only are you getting double commission on these outreach sales but now they're exclusively shopping with you so you they, they want to spend money with you i think you guys will see a significant raise in commission if you actually go through and follow up with these people i think the best use case for that like i said like we get a shipment let's say let's say we just got a shipment right those are two high-end size 15 shoes there's probably not that many people that have bought five size 15. so you hit a few of them up especially the ones that spent a lot, right? Hey, I, you see that they spent a couple thousand in the store. We got some size 15s in their size. If you're interested, I could put it on hold for you. Shit like that like helps a lot and it'll help us move their inventory very quickly, make double commission. We're always implementing new systems at the store to make the customer experience that much better and an opportunity for the employees to make more money as well. Cousin Jay reached out to us to do a pop-up for his clothing brand, Girls Love Artists. We met him at the store before, so I was super happy we could collaborate in some way. Let's see what we got over here. It's my first time looking at this shit. I didn't even dab you up. What's up, dog? What we got over here? This is one of one. I haven't released this yet. Okay. It's gonna be available tomorrow. Oh, this is dope. This is like a little Miami Beach, like little Vice City colorway. This is perfect. So we have front and back, black and white. Cool. I haven't posted these online yet, so everything that we're releasing in store exclusive, pretty in -store much. Store exclusive, except these hats. Except these hats. These have been available online, but simple, easy. Super I like that. Simple. Yeah, nice. No one's ever seen this before. It's a U Miami colorway. Oh, okay, All fire. Green. Got the orange hint. You gotta let the U Miami kids know about that. But yeah, guys, if you don't know, we're doing a pop up tomorrow with Cousin Jay, as you see, with his brand. Yes, sir. Girls Love Artists. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. What, what are yeah, you thinking? I mean, I started it in 2017. Nice to meet you guys. Um, <laughs> tomorrow, we were having a first pop up ever for the brand, and I'm so excited. Like, I really appreciate you guys. For no, this. of course. I'm excited. I'm happy, I'm happy to hear this. What do you think about the, the show, Alec? Like, how many do you think there's gonna be a lot of people? I don't know what to expect, honestly. At least two people, for sure. At least two? Yeah. At Maybe least. three, even. Maybe if yeah. we could do 10, if we could do 10, Double digits? I'll be like so excited. Nah, you're so gassing, happy. you're gassing. Double digits You is really crazy. never know. People say they'll come, but that doesn't mean they're gonna pull. Nah, there's gonna be a lot of people here tomorrow. I, I think I think there's gonna be a lot of people, honestly. Just people that support. I feel like you have a yeah. very cool following. So like people that fuck with you, they fuck with you. Oh, they got some decent shares. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like, I usually don't post my brand like a lot. I just post my personality. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's where like the uncomfort for me to like know if people would come for that specifically is like kind of hesitant. But nah, dude, there's whatever gonna, happens. I think I was gonna say, bro, we're gonna have a good time regardless. It's gonna be lit. Just a little sneak peek of what's going down tomorrow, obviously. Tomorrow is gonna be be dope to film starting at 11 a.m. Hopefully get a lot of people out and we're going to be giving away shoes, going to be giving away one of one piece, a bunch of different stuff. So it's going to be exciting. Uh, we haven't done a pop-up in a while, I think since like summer of last year. We definitely want to do more pop-ups, I would say. I think it's like a great way two brands can collab and both can benefit from it. So I think it's a really dope idea and we're definitely going to do a lot more of this in the future. We'll see no, how it goes yeah. tomorrow. You guys asked what made me start it. So originally I am an artist. I would like paint sneakers, paint canvases. That's what really like inspired the name behind the brand Girls of Artists. And I noticed Every time I would set my phone up in my bathroom when I was painting my canvases, I would just like FaceTime girls and they would just be so infatuated. <laughs> I promise you, they would be so infatuated with what so I was it's, doing. So it's true. Girls love artists. I promise you. Like, not only do they love artists, they love anyone who like focuses on their purpose. They hate it like when they get a hold of you because you like so locked in, but. Is that true? Yeah, I think do, do girls love artists? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bet. <laughs> confirm, confirm. They want you to spend time with you, but like, 
They like the passion. They like the passion, you know what I'm saying? We should do a spin-off, Girls Love Passion. <laughs> Girls Love Passion. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's tough. Cross, Cross out the artists, yeah, right? And, oh, Girls Love Money, too. I mean, girls, girls Love Money. money. Miami Girls Love Money. Oh, that should be your Miami one. That should be the Miami collab. Girls Love Artists, Cross Out Money, yeah, 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 yeah. Miami, yeah. Florida. <laughs> National J's in the building. What's the crazy? What's the craziest country you ever shipped a package to? Or have you, do you ship internationally? Yeah, okay. Dubai. Dubai. And then we also had a lot of people from Switzerland too. Switzerland. Damn, that's crazy. We shipped a package to f***ing Alaska the other day. That's so random. That's so random. Like someone bought an Amiri hat in Alaska. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Bye. Peace. See you tomorrow. Bye. Love you guys. See you there. 11 a.m. to 3. Let's go. Eastern time. <laughs> Jay rolled through with some sick one of one pieces and his classic T-shirts. Excited for a great day. All right guys, sorry for interrupting the video, but if you guys didn't check out last week's banger video with Steve Do It, check it out now. For that video, we actually give away the free pair of Knock the Glide. This week, we actually had 60 comments, so your chances are insanely high still. If you're not entering this, you're sleeping. Let's get into it. We have Maya Moore Comedy 313. Let's see if she's following. All right guys, looks like Mia's following. We'll be reaching out to you. You have 24 hours to respond. All right guys, we're gonna give her a call right now. See if she picks up. Hey, how are you, Mia? Yeah. How are you feeling? You just won these for free. I'm Yo, I really appreciate you replying like ASAP. You responded in like less than a minute, I think. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Vegas, but I actually live in Florida like two hours from here. Okay, fire. How'd you hear about hype? So I like, I sell like bricks on Amazon basically. So I get like entrepreneur and like speaker content on my feed. So I was like, oh, I'm going to like do this and like do that. Well, I appreciate your support a lot. We'll be getting reaching out to you more, um, getting your info, and then seeing what sizes you want. Thank you for supporting Hype. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Of course. Have a great one. All right, guys. As you can tell, it's that f***ing easy. You could be just like me and win a free pair of these sneakers. Now back to the video. Hi, right, guys. We're in the back right now, but we got an awesome pop-up today. Girls love artists. Cousin Jay's here. I just saw Salim came in. Yeah, we got a ton of cool people here. We're gonna chop it up today. Hopefully, he's gonna sell some of his merch. He got some crazy one-of-one -one pieces, which we'll show you in a second. Those are absolutely wild. Definitely talented, I would say, putting some creative stuff together. So I saw some dope pieces out there. Honestly, just gonna vibe, chill out, you know, listen to some music. Hopefully, some cool people roll through. That's how we do it every time at our pop-up. So guys, let us know if you guys wanna see us collab with specific brands in the comments. If you have a brand and you wanna collaborate, we love collaborating with other people guys so yeah let us know we just set up a whole clothing rack it's a big day nervous first, little bit, little bit, first ever yeah. pop-up yeah this is big it's a big moment yeah you want to explain some of the pieces for us i went up to jay i'm like yo so what's custom about this it looks like like, like a regular lv shirt these were scarves originally and then just pieced them up together so we forget the name of the store it's somewhere in la like all the buttons you get there Navy blue. And this is one of the first pieces I sold like when I first came to LA, like somewhat quality. Got the little phone pouch in there. A little zebra. Yeah, this is crazy. This is tough. I can see a rapper wearing on stage. Yeah. This is cool. Oh yeah, so I thrifted this in Sacramento. I think a Dickies jacket too. And then I got a little vest and then just sewed it together. A little one of one cousin Jay patch right here. Oh you know it's official. <laughs> So this was a jacket like, this was like the number one seller online. Got the little knitted, knitted Chanel patch. These were supposed to be in store, but we'll have these like later this week. Cause people I work with to ship my stuff out here, they didn't get it here on time. So. It happens bro, I mean, yeah, whatever. Business you, get, is business. Well, you, br you brought the heat regardless. This one goes crazy. Yeah, Rick and Morty for all the Rick and Morty fans out there. So this used to be just a Rick and Morty beach towel? This and like three beach towels and then pieced it together. Got the yellow interior. Yeah. Did you, is this painting or is that part of the towel? I got it off Target, like, okay. Target.com. Uh, dude, that's hard. Yeah, and then we got some little custom hangers for some of them. Like, when I would um, make my pieces back in the day, every order, like, it would all be through Instagram DM, and every order, they get a custom hanger with it. This right here, this is a one of one but I, I wear it so much, like, I think we'll have this available for people to cop today. So everything you see here will be available. This is crazy, like, aluminum foil type That's fucking wild. What size is that? It looks massive. It's a large. No, this is actually fire. Honestly, like, this this is the craziest shit that he f***ing took a scarf and turned it into a damn button up. I like this color, though. Oh, yeah, that's even better. I like this one, too. Yeah, that is pretty cool, with damn. What the hell? This is some crazy shit. This, honestly, is my favorite one, though. It's like some Marlboro shit. Vibes. Movie. We out here with Cousin Jay today during this pop-up. Just support him and his brand, you know what I'm saying? Collab, hype, girls love artists collab. You know what I'm saying? Everybody stopping through. We got all these beautiful people here. Fire. It's a good day today, you know. You know Cousin Jay brought his team, brought some life to the store, so 
It's a good Saturday, man. Got a lot of business in here. Got a lot of fans. A lot of good people in here. So I feel good. Just gonna see what happens today. See what we can do. Live news. I'm reporting back. Uh, Cousin Jay's. Um, whatever this is. Um, we're gonna have an inspirational day. Make sure to brush your teeth, guys. Make sure to stay clean. You know what I mean? Let's get some interviews. Let's go. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. How are we doing today? I'm doing very well today. How are you doing? I'm awesome. How are you feeling about Jay's pop up? We just got here. I think it's gonna go very well. It's uh, booming so far. I mean, we got a lot to I'm go. Excited for the pop up. I'm excited. I'm excited. What's your energy, man? My energy's lit. I'm, I'm like having a great time. Do girls love artists? Yes. Do you have any experience of that? Or just... I make videos. That's art in a way. Uh, yeah. Your inspiration is doing something in art, like in a way, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Today's question Do girls love artists? Girls definitely love artists. Any experience with that or anything? Why do girls love artists? Because they're creative. Mm. Girls love creative. Interesting. They're unique. Yes. So do girls love creative people? I think so. I mean, Jay said it himself from experience, too. So I don't know. You told me yesterday. Girls love artists. So. Makes so much sense. We should actually ask some girls if they love artists. Do girls love artists? A hundred percent, they do. Why? Yeah. Why do women like artists? They just do. <laughs> it's just you gotta like, give it a. You know what why I mean? Why do women? Is that? Girls like artists. Why? Yeah. I think it just shows creativity and that they have like a drive and they mm. like to do things and be themselves. Artists mm. are motivated. Mm -hmm. Yep. We like motivation. Oh, exactly. So you want you want an artist in your future? A hundred percent, yes. What does the hat say? Yeah. Oh, sh Supporting the brand. What does the hat say? <laughs> It makes so much sense, guys, man. Reporting live. Talk to me. In all honesty, I think it did decently well. Like, like I wasn't expecting too crazy of an impact. Yeah, it's the first one. First one, first of many. Yeah. And I appreciate you guys for giving me this opportunity. Of course, you know? bro. Appreciate you coming by. We honestly, like, set it up real nice. It was, like, super simple, nothing crazy, but, like, it flowed well. Had some cool people come by. You oh, know, yeah. It was chill. Bunch of people caught merch. So. You Miami t-shirts, like, those ones seem to do really yeah, well. Yeah, I think those sold the best. Part yeah. two coming soon, maybe. Sir. Right. Overall, it was a cool pop-up. Jay brought a bunch of his crew and a bunch of people rolled by to cop some merch. Super happy we made it happen and we have his merch available in the store if you guys f*** with it. So much for tuning in to another episode, guys. I'm gonna pop up a picture of the shoes we're giving away, the Panda Dunk Highs. Make sure you follow all the instructions. We've had a few winners that didn't follow them all. Make sure you read them, follow the instructions, and we'll see you guys next week.